Amen. 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 Tonight we have a lot of wonderful speakers. You're uh, all very fluent and competent speakers. And I feel that I, I, I don't know why I'm here, because you all spoke very well. Um, well, let's start from Allison. Allison talked about um, her trip to Canton. I don't know, Canton is, oh, Guangzhou, right? Um, Canton is like the Asian term for Guangzhou. It's probably you know, um, not used anymore. Um, well, she stayed there for about for about four or five days, so four, four or about five days. And then she taught there, right? She taught there, not to teach there, but taught there. Um, well, she mentioned that, um, well, before she said goodbye to her students, the students hugged with her. No, the students hugged her, right? Hugged her, not hugged with her. Um, the most hottest song, the most hottest song, what's the problem with this phrase? The most hottest. The most hottest song. Hottest. You just say the hottest song. The hottest song is the highest level you could have used, right? So the hottest song. Or you could have said the most popular song. Right? Allison, I'm sorry, I was looking at her. <laughs> the most popular song, or the hottest song. Uh, and on the last slide that you showed us, you said thank you for your attendance. Right. That was there was a title. There was a title. Attendance. Right. Thank you for your attendance. Uh, 谢谢你的光临 Now Kiwi. Uh, Kiwi. Um, Excuse me. Uh, I would say something that we try to follow it and as a pick. Okay, start. Well. Oh, the Kiwi. Oh, uh, Kiwi. Uh, Malala. Um, Malala. Well, your your speech was very passionate, inspiring speech, and I was. It drove me to tears. Uh, oh, uh, well, she, Malala took three bullets, right? She took three Get bullets. bullets. Uh, or she got three bullets, right? Um, everybody needs to watch this video. Um, yeah, everybody needs to watch this video. I agree with you. You made very few mistakes. You actually, um, your, your English level, your command of English is very good. Um, uh, and I would like to thank you for this um, passionate and inspiring speech. Um, the only thing is I thought your, the, the information could have been um, organized in a way that people could see that there is a uh, more um, closer bond between, between the Taiwanese girl and the Malala. You know, there is something that they share in common that is they both um, dream big, but uh, that message could be stronger. Um, Jack, oh, your body speaks. Yeah. Jack, Jack, that's good. Um, well, you made a few uh, grammatical mistakes. First, uh, you stepped on American soil. Right? Step on American soil. This is something we usually hear from um, American movies, I think. Step, step on the, uh, not step on the United States land, but step on American soil. Soil, um, my living locations. Instead of saying my living locations, you could simply you could have simply said my my place, or my apartment, or my um, um, my my address. Accident. Um, accident. 有点像是交通事故啊这些。But I I think you meant to say unexpected, unexpected events. There are, life is full of unexpected events. Um, you said that you was there in a safe way. You was there in a safe way. You could have said, I arrived there. I arrived here safely. Safely. Well, like, English language is a very uh, beautiful language because it's concise. Concise means short. Right? So uh, we have to watch out for redundant words. For redundant words, redundant, redundant. I'm not sure if I spelled it right. We have to watch for redund redundancy. 就是我们说的那个叫什么？赘字或者说是多余的。So keep your language short and simple. That's how you could speak very well in English. Um, in some reason, not in some reason, but for some reason, right? For some reason. Uh, Governor, um, you shared with us how uh, your Toastmaster journey, 
and I found your speech very interesting because you talked about how Toastmaster has transformed you, has changed you from an incompetent person to a, a confident English speaker with a lot of new friends. And, um, and that's very inspirational. Uh, you used a very good uh, expression, mutual support. And you said that mutual support is what Toastmaster is about. Mutual support. Mutual. That's a very good expression. Um, her, I would just thank you. And, um, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, well, someone, um, you need, what, what, how, how do I pronounce this name? Yiba. 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 Okay. Um, you have, you used another very good expression. We have to dream big. We have to dream big. Um, and you, another expression you used is arouse people's attention. Arouse is a, is a good word. Arouse people's attention. Now, uh, I have a question. At the end of your speech, you said inspirational speaker. Do, should we say inspiration speaker? Inspiration speaker or inspirational speaker? Inspirational. Inspiration? Inspir no, said inspirational. Inspirational speaker or inspiring or inspiring speaker. Which one is correct? Is this, this one or this one? Inspirational speaker or inspiring speaker? What do you think? How many of you would vote for this one? <laughs> How many of you think that this is correct? Okay, how many of you think this is correct? I think inspiring speaker is, is correct. Inspiring means your speech would inspire people. Inspiring speaker. Maybe there's no word like there's, inspiration. There is a word called inspirational. Inspirational. Then how, we, how do we use that? I, I'm not quite sure. I, for me, I think they are quite similar. But maybe inspiring speaker is better. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. from your point of view is correct. Inspirational. I'm not sure actually. I, I would need to look it up and check. I'm not sure. Um, Nina, um, as a as a eva evaluator, you evaluate very well. Um, the only problem is um, you said before the flight landed. Before the plane landed, right? Flight is not land. Flight is a, is very abstract. Right? Uh, Lars, the the only thing I would like to um, well. Lawrence used the, the, the most important, and then he said, what's the last important? What's the problem with that? Least. The least, right, exactly. The least important. These two expressions usually go hand in hand. They usually come in pairs. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you for...